Hey, it's your boy Bobby Beast here. Want to talk about a subject that comes to mind, and that is what if the Mac is in Power Book 2 Ghost? Um, I would love to see that. DMAC would fit perfectly in Power Book 2 Ghost. And what I mean by that is basically, we've been talking about a Power Book 2 Ghost and a Power Book 4 Force crossover for a long time. And what would happen if this were to ever happen? Now, with this being said, uh, Tariq needs to connect. Tariq needs to stop dealing with the Tahadas. He really does. When it comes down to it, he cannot trust them. And he needs to just pretty much be his own man. He needs to step out and step away from the Tahadas. There is very much a similar situation that's going on between uh, the Tahadas and Tariq that's that's like Breeze and Kanan and Ghost and that's what's going on with Tariq right now Tariq needs to do his own thing and establish his own crew now when it comes down to it D-Mac being that he's connected with Tommy he can be the one who helps Tariq out in terms of if Tariq was to connect with Tommy and get stuff from Tommy, D-Mac would be the guy to do that. Now I'm hoping D-Mac survives this season of Power Book 4 Force and he goes through because he's becoming a character favorite. And I hope that he does survive. And not only that, he would be perfect to be there, you know, be around with Tariq and supply him with what he needs. Not only that, you know, just having his back. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes down to it, basically Tariq still looks at Tommy that like you know that's his uncle that's how Tariq looks at Tommy and with um Tommy um pretty much um finding out that he has a brother and a nephew Tariq would be shooken by that just as much as Tommy would because Tariq would look at that you know look at them as if they were his family and I know what you guys are saying with Tariq doing the things he did and causing all the destruction he did listen in some way Tariq still look at um, Tommy as his uncle and Tommy still looks at him as his nephew and Tommy will still come through for Tariq when it comes down to it though um dmac he would embrace dmac like family possibly treating dmac like his cousin or even his brother being that dmac is pretty much uh tommy's nephew so dmac coming to power book two force Tom, uh tariq would have somebody else on his side that is also a shooter someone that does not play somebody that's straight to the point but then it would also be um fun to see dmac interact with uh, people like the Tahadas. How would he re interact with them? How would he interact with Effie? How would he interact with Brayden? Because he fits right in there with them. He's right in their age group. Not only that, what if DMAC comes there? Not only just comes there, but he becomes a, a, a series regular, a uh, series regular to Power Book 2 Ghost. That would make a lot of sense. Him being the connecting supplier or somebody who transports a lot. Even though personally, I'm going to say I'm going to see him transport a lot because when it comes to DMAC, DMAC got a lot of catching up to do with his father. So him really being in New York. York a lot really wouldn't make sense but then again possibly he would because he doesn't want to be in Chicago um he would want to connect with Tommy as well so I think we have to have that happen before somebody like him would say I want to stay in New York and be in New York and be here with Reek imagine Tariq's crew with Tariq um Effie Braden D-Mac that would be a powerful crew I would love to see something like that but I definitely want to see um D-Mac becomes to power book two force I mean, Power Book 2 Ghosts and pretty much make that crossover connection. We know it would be mostly about a supply situation if he were to show up. Uh, and it would make a lot of sense. Seeing Tariq and D-Mac interact with each other, that would be pretty cool. But I know Tommy's going to tell D-Mac, watch yourself around Tariq. You know, watch yourself around Reek. You know, don't trust nobody. Because whenever you cross somebody or someone crosses you or something like that, it's a situation of you don't trust them no more. Even if y'all do work together, you don't trust them no more. So pretty much that's what um, um, what I think is going to happen there That's pretty much speaking on that But I just want to say to all of you That it is your boy Bobby Beast here I just want to say much love Much respect Hold it down And one. Wow. Hey it's your boy Bobby Beast here Want to talk about a subject that comes to mind And that is what if Hey how are you doing I want to say to you You cannot live a life where you expect everything to go right Because trust me things are going to go wrong Whenever things go wrong, don't sit there and, and be angry and and just out of it. What, whatever it is you got going on, learn from the mistake and continue to do better. Anybody who earns anything the honest way have to work it the hard way. In a dishonest world, when you're an honest person, you got to work even harder than the other person because some of your examples got there in a dishonest way. Everyone's story is not the same as somebody else's story. You be who you are, you be true to who you are, and you push to become who you are. I just want to say, do what you can. I know you can do it. I just want to say to you, do it. I believe in you. And that's pretty much what I